All right, welcome to Law Dog Corvette. And we're standing here next to our almost complete, and I say almost complete, because we're still driving this thing around, but there's still work to be done. Of course, we've got the paint done, and our latest was the installation of the convertible top. Now, to answer your question, no, I did not uh, actually install the top. The installing the top is a skill way beyond my skill set, and I had a local company called Coachcraft Upholstery. They put the top onto the frame. But what they don't do, and I really didn't expect them to do, is then fit the frame to the car. If you're familiar with the Corvette convertibles, right down here, there's this little, uh, this bar here goes down onto this pillar, and there's two bolts here, two bolts on the other side, and they are able to, you can be able to control the height of the back of the top. And we've got the height of the back of the top uh, set. However, we're still not done. So if you come in close, I'll show you what's going on here. So right there, this gap is what we are trying to fix. And this gap is not going to be able to be controlled by the height of the top. This gap has to be controlled by the height of the window. Now, so what we're going to do is this video is going to be about how to adjust this window inside the door. So, an earlier video that is going to be available right up here is talks about how to install the door card. So the first part of this video is removing the door card. And then we are going to adjust the window in the frame, put the door card back on, and the idea is this gap shall close. Of course, you know, airtight is not what you're looking for, but at least the gap will be done and it'll be something better than it is. We'll do this side, then we'll do that side. All right, here we go. All right, the first step on adjusting the window is you have to take the door card off. There is a screw up here. There's a screw over there. There's a screw back here. There's a screw over here. So the first thing we'll be doing is taking out all four of those screws, and then there's a screw here and here, and that will get rid of all the screws that hold the door card on. Then we'll have to take the lock off and the window crank off. And while we're at it, we'll probably take the door handle off. That takes a special screw. So we'll get the, the four out exterior screws off first, and then the two door pull screws. We'll do that now. All right, all four exterior screws are off, plus the door pull screws are off, and now it's time to take the lock and the window crank off. Now to get the window crank and lock knob off, this little tool right here, it's Zip Corvette part number ZTL100, is a great little tool. And I'm going to show you how this tool works. It slides behind the lock and these little teeth right here grab the little lock ring and push it out without destroying your door. So this tool is very simple to use. You slide it right up here and as it goes up you'll hear a click. There it is. And then that comes off just like that. And of course, that's the retaining pin. If you don't have that tool, this is such a hard job. But with this tool, man, it's so easy. All right, the lock and the window pull are removed. Now, you can take the handle off if you want, but you don't have to you can slide the handle through that little opening, and I, I think that's what I'll do on this case. 
All right, it's been a while since I've seen the inside of the door panel, but here it is. And you can see the original color of the Corvette. It is that dark brown color. And of course, we went to a medium blue. Medium blue was a original color in 1974, but our vet was originally this dark brown. So, all right, next step. We gotta get access to the, uh, the bottom of the window where the window attaches to the crank. All right, so in the assembly manual, you've got F6, this is your procedures for adjusting the window for T-tops. And then page F7 is your actual window and it has your bolts labeled uh, bolt E. These are these top bolts right here, bolt F, this is this bottom bolt here, along with these two top bolts here, and bolt B, that's these right here, and those are gonna be your main adjustment bolts. But you're also going to have to be adjusting bolt D and the two H's. The two H's are your lower stops, and bolt D controls the window kind of this way and this way. So this would be the picture for all of your weather stripping as it relates to T-tops. And here is going to be your instructions. This is the instructions before body drop. So this is when the body is still off the frame course you're probably going to be doing here after body drop so your body's already on the frame and you're just going to follow steps 9 through 17 referring to that picture if you have a convertible you're going to be on page 10 down here on page 10 and this is a picture of your convertible with all your weather stripping all right the first step which is our step nine. It says close the door and check the fitment. All right, so down here, it needs to move back, back up here. It needs to go up there, up, 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 and it's actually pretty okay there. And kind of down this angle, it's all right. So I kind of like it in the front, but the back needs to move up a little bit. So the real question is gonna be, how do I move the back up without changing this angle? And it's just gonna be loosen, adjust, tighten, see where we are. All right, so let's, uh, I guess let's try that. All right, so the first adjustment it wants us to make is here and here. And you can see these are all the way down. If I take these two and move them up, the entire window should go up. So we're gonna loosen those and see what we can do to get those, that point to go up. All right. I've been working slowly, ever so slowly. Basically, these two bolts, this bolt, these four bolts, this bolt, and these two bolts. This bolt is a stop down here, and this bolt's a stop, but that's a stop for the window going down. That's not my problem. My problem was the window going too far up. Now, after about 30 minutes of adjustment, here's where I am now. I still could use 
a little bit more, but man, what a difference. So I'm gonna continue to work on this, but about, like I said, 30 minutes of adjustment and I went from a gap that you could put your finger through. Now I can't get my finger through. This back portion of the window needs to go up, but I still have to be able to make it under this lip. All right, that's it for this video. Um, I'm not done. I still have some more fit and finish to do. And of course I have to do the other side. But if your window does not fit on your convertible top or on your T-top, this, this works for both convertibles and T-tops, that's how you adjust the window. It is um, a lot of trial and error. Listen, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. Have a wonderful day.